Hey guys, Ponyline here. Today I'm going to be showing you a different type of video. It's going to be a comeback chopper gameplay video, and I'm also going to use the time to go ahead and talk about some updates or things that we'd like to discuss. So, for starters, as you can see, I just grabbed the attack chopper and I made my getaway. Um, this is a game on road transmission. Our team was down by quite a bit. They had the majority of flags, double our tickets, almost three times our tickets actually at some points. But from here, things took a bit of a turn. So I didn't have a gunner to start with. I was by myself in this game. So even with the gunner, as you'll see, I'll get a gunner in a second. It was just going to be straight up flying. I wasn't going to depend on my gunner. I couldn't talk to him. And on top of that, I didn't know what kind of weapon attachments he had, whether he had a TV missile. Uh, since the most recent update to the chopper, if you didn't know, the TV missiles took quite a bit of a nerf. The maneuverability on them has gone down. Um, and as you also can see, or not in this video, but the TV missile doesn't shoot back to back anymore. Uh, it, it's a much longer reload time. But in this game, it was all just about holding back, taking out the proper vehicles, the infantry when needed, helping out the team at the right areas. Uh, it, it's just about nibbling and getting one flag at a time. Don't bite off more than you can chew. And the new maneuverability that was added to the chopper makes it a very viable vehicle. And there's only one mat, uh, one attack chopper on road transmission, so it's a perfect chance. But if I just wanted to have a gameplay like this because I love games like this, They're those comeback moments when when a vehicle or a few th things turn the tide for the game. Uh, if you guys like something like this, let me know. I'll let you guys go at it in the comment section. Uh, I would love to do more videos like this. If you do, it would up the frequency of videos. And I also had another idea that I wanted to talk about for videos. Uh, as you know, I play quite a bit of, of uh, Counter-Strike uh, and I never really make any videos on them. I made one video, it did quite well. It, it was an ace clutch video, but other than that, I have never really done anything. I have all kinds of clips of doing crazy clutches or aces, but I've never really done anything with it. Uh, I didn't know if you guys wanted to see something like that. So this brings me to my next part of the question for this video, and that is, would you like me to do some Counter-Strike videos? And here's the two parts to it. A, would you rather me do it to where I do a mini Taj series, so you know, like kind of like my Battlefield moments. The only thing I have against that though is that there's a lot of extremely skilled players out there that already do this, and they do it against the most professional players out there. So it, it wouldn't really be the coolest thing in that sense. Or would you rather me do a longer series where I do something like, a, you know, the Road to Global Elite? I know a lot of people already do that. I know Doom does that, but it, it's a fun thing for the channel, and it lets people see your progression through the game. I was thinking of something like that. And if I did that, I would either show the game that I ended up getting the next rank up, or I would show bits and pieces of different games going towards that rank up. But either way, it, it would make for another series on the channel, and it would be frequent. I would be able to have that once a week for you. I'd be able to have maybe a gameplay like this once a week. And on top of that, me going for my stunts. It adds to the variety of things it can do. Um, now, other than that, I would still be playing all my other types of games on stream. I, I wouldn't try to bite off more than I can chew. But it does add to the frequency and it gives you guys more content and more, you know, you get to see the different style of play that I do have. I don't just do stunts only. I do have my PTFO moments. I know it's not always the case, but I do, I promise. But let's go back to the game. At this point, we had taken the majority of the flags. Uh, I was only picking for infantry. Now, I all my weapon attachments and everything got reset, but I decided to stick with the Hydra Rockets because it, it's good to go after infantry. On a map like this, there's not too many vehicles. There can be, but I didn't think that Zuni was the right choice here. And I did. we did quite well. Like This was a really good comeback. I really enjoyed this gameplay. I really enjoy flying the chopper now. Um, I don't like being a, a gunner as much anymore just because they nerfed the TV. But in terms of flying, it's much more maneuverable. It gives you a lot more viability on the battlefield. Uh, but yeah, I think that really about sums it up. This is the end of the game here, guys. I want you guys to think about what I told you. If you guys do like gameplay like this, you know, like good comebacks, vehicle gameplay videos, um, let me know, please. I can put a straw poll up for you, but for now, I'll just let you guys comment on the section. Definitely give it a like if this is what you like. Give it a favor. Um, but... I really do want to do more content videos for you guys like this. Of course, I'm going to continue my stunts, but those take some time. So until next time, guys, have a good one.